Oh, <laughs> I can't even believe this is real. So, oh my gosh. A lot of people have been asking and wondering, with the notch in the way now, what happens if your app menus go too far to the right or your status menus go too far to the left? Well, okay, so if we want to play my stat, let's drag something like the, you know, the battery icon. Does that hide under the notch? No, it doesn't. But yes, it does. It does. <laughs> so it's not eye stats, but what the? Who designed this? What's up guys, Sal here. So we've already seen the design of all the Galaxy S22 variants, including the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is basically a successor to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The S22 and S22 Plus are expected to retain the same design as their predecessors, the S21 and S21 Plus. But in an interesting development, it seems the design of the S22 and Plus variant may not be exactly what we thought it would be. I'll talk about that in a minute, but first we have some updated information about the unpacked event for the S22 lineup. John Prosser, as you know, one of the trustable guys out there, has revealed that the pre-order for the S22 lineup will take place in the second week of February. He didn't mention the unpacked event date, but usually pre-orders begin on the same day as the event itself, so it's safe to say the unpacked event will also take place in the second week of February. Also, we have information about the S21 FE's launch event. A few days ago, we got information that Samsung is planning to launch the S21 FE on January 11th, According to Sam Mobile, Samsung will instead launch it a few days earlier at Consumer Electronics Show, which is scheduled to take place from January 5th to January 8th. Now, it's worth mentioning that nothing cannot be etched in stone until we see how the aforementioned chip shortage situation unfolds over the next few months. With that said, a few days ago, we saw that the S22 Ultra will make a record as far as the display peak brightness is concerned. It will have 1800 nits of peak brightness, which is more than the competition. Now, Ice Universe is confirming from his end that the rumor was indeed true. The OLED panel used for the S22 Ultra is gonna top the brightness charts. Moving on to the design, you see one of the reasons the iPhone 12 lineup saw massive success in terms of sales is the new design that had flat frames at the sides. Although it's not really a great experience holding the phone for a prolonged period of time as the sides can make your palm a little uncomfortable, but it looks good as it makes the handset look sleek. Now it seems like Samsung may take some inspiration from that design onto the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus. Ice Universe mentioned that the S22 and S22 Plus will have symmetrical bezels on their flat displays as well as flat backs, and they look like the iPhone 13 without the notch. Now, although he didn't mention it, this comparison would imply that the S22 series will have flat sides like Apple's iPhones. Now, if this is indeed the case, then I wouldn't mind them taking inspiration from the iPhone design, because like I've said, flat sides actually make the handset look sleek and beautiful. Fun fact, even though nobody talked about this, but the Z Fold 3 actually has flat frame. It's not as aggressive as the iPhones though, but it is flat and it is matte. Probably that's the reason people didn't notice it. Anyway, we also have some updated information about the camera specs of the S22 Ultra. And here it is. Basically, it's the same as the S21 Ultra, but that doesn't mean the quality will remain the same though. It's likely Samsung may use an updated lens, a better image ISP and GPU, which makes a world of difference. Also, the image and video stabilization is going to be 48% better than the S21 Ultra based on the previous information. Of course, do consider subscribing for all the latest updates on the Galaxy S22. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.